When I first started racing, I was um, living in Middlebury, Vermont. When I graduated from Middlebury and I said I want to become a professional cyclist, I knew I had to get somewhere where I could train outside all year round. And then I said, I'll just go to California. <laughs> Tour of California definitely feels like a home race. Um, I, I get to drive up here and um, it's the one race of the year and so it's, it's a world tour race. So it's the highest level of racing and, and I get to do it in my home state. And uh, yeah, here in Lake Tahoe, this is where I got engaged to my husband. So yeah, a little bit of sentimentality here. Winning here was a lot of fun. That was my first world tour win. Um, do, having my first world tour win in the United States was, uh, yeah, a, a great feeling. I'm born and raised in Ventura, California, which is about eight hours south of here. I'm from beaches and palm trees and sunshine, and here I'm eight hours away and it snowed two days ago. I'm so far from home and yet it's the same. It is home and it's nothing like it. I really like the first stage of the race, uh, the one that goes around the lake, because it's pretty diverse, but it's fast and rolling. There's some climbing, um, but it's always, it's always really aggressive. I was born in Solvang, California, and grew up in Redding, California, and I currently live in Petaluma, California, so you can say I've been a Californian my whole life. I think Americans, when they come to the Amgen Tour of California, are very motivated to perform, of course, and they're able to target this event. California is, is definitely one of my homes and uh, I'm, I'm so proud to be here and it's amazing to have a world tour event here and, and showcase uh, the, the top level of women's racing here in California. And to wear the yellow jersey in front of uh, my, my home crowd and, and my friends and my husband and everybody's here so I don't get that opportunity too often. The second day is maybe not my forte. It's really hard. I pre-wrote it the other day and I couldn't believe it. I mean it's incredible that we have a stage like that and it's really going to shake up um, the general classification. Stage two I'm really excited about because I've done a stage race out there before and it's just amazing. The hills are actually really hard though. <laughs> I think Californians are a little mot extra motivated here. Um, also there's a really really strong race scene in Northern California which is where I learned how to race and um, yeah, a lot of people here in the field have come out of that amateur racing and it's, it's a great, great place to race. The Tour of California means a lot to me. I think it's really special, especially for an American, to have kind of a hometown race since the standard of the sport is in Europe. And, you know, the Euros, I always tell them they're so lucky, you know, they can drive to a race or fly two hours to a whole other country. And here, you know, we fly five hours to the other side of the same country. To do well in this race means a lot to me also. It's kind of the end of the mark of the end of my spring, so I want to finish it well. And then, yeah, to be a hometown race and have people cheering my name in English, uh, pretty stoked for me, is, is, will be really fun. It's going to be a good show for everyone. Um, but the, the third stage I'm looking forward to, too, as well, because it's flat, but I think it's going to be uh, pretty hectic with crosswinds from, from what I've heard. So that'll be more my style when it comes to European racing with the crosswinds and making it exciting. Clearly Cal Californians know how to show up, especially on home turf, so bring, bring it. <laughs> bring more. Stage four is very challenging, technical, and a little you know, terrifying at times, but uh, with Kirsten Wild on my team who won that stage last year, I'm really looking forward to helping our team get a victory. I usually have some people out here cheering for me, which doesn't really happen that often in Europe. <laughs> so I do, I do feel pride. I almost feel like I'm showing off this incredible uh, state that I'm living. You know, although I'm not doing any of the showing off, but I'm just happy that everyone has made the travel over here um, to see and to race and experience this place. I've won the Sacramento Criterium stage, uh, I think the first year that they held it when I was 18. Uh, so I have experience with that and uh, yeah, it does, I guess that does give me a little bit of a, an upper hand. I think it's, it's not your typical American Criterium, it's pretty long finish uh, than usual. So I think you can see some definitely see some euros up there because it'll require a lot of strength and power to get to the line. 
um, but you will see some, some scrappy Americans up there trying to you know, rub some elbows to get to the line first. Of course, the main goal was to get this jersey uh, to win this race. And uh, it would be would have been so nice if Megan could get it because it's her, uh, oh, yeah, she comes from here and this is a, a really important race for her. Uh, and she did a great job, you know, it's, it's not nice if you have the jersey and you get you won't have it anymore, and she totally gave it all to to defend the jersey. So that's a big, yeah, big compliment for her. And I, I wouldn't have asked more for that, and and for the whole team, they were amazing.